and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser, as you see it right there. And I want to talk about the bike because I've had it now for just over six months. And I thought I would give a six month review on the bike and how it's been so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, so let's talk a little bit about it first of all. It's got a 750 watt Bafang, that's a 750 watt sustained motor right down there. You can see it right down there. And inside here, into the uh, frame, we've got integrated in there a uh, 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. And the bike has Sandstorm tires, they're 26 by 3 inch right there and we've got a rear rack that you can get an option for a seat here and carry a passenger up to 150 pounds and the nice thing about this rack is it's integrated right into the frame it's not one that's purchased and then put on it's actually on there when you buy the bike so it's not a separate option it comes with the bike Super nice seat right here. It's a nice comfortable seat. No issues at all with the seat. It's got the swept back handlebars as you see right here. The only thing I've added to the bike that didn't have it didn't have is a bell right there. Otherwise everything else is what you see is what you get. The brakes are 180 millimeter rotor hydraulic disc brakes. And the brakes um, work just fine. And we've got an 8-speed zoom. Uh, we've got the 8 uh, gears and pedal assist levels. I like it in 3. We have 5 pedal assist levels. I seem to have it in 3 all the time and in gear 8 over here. Uh, what else can I tell you? In the time I've had it, I've had one issue and that was a flat tire. And uh, I just put uh, flat out in there and it was no problem. It was just a thorn that actually punctured the tire. So let's hop on and talk a little bit more about the bike. Um, this bike is very impressive. I mean, it's better than I thought it was going to be. Um, and I highly recommend it. The one thing that stands out right now to me compared to any other bike out there right now is the price so right now as i record this video in uh second half of september here i don't know how long the sale is going to be it's been for a while now but one of these days it's going to disappear and you won't be able to get them for this price but they range in price depending on the color and the model you want between uh, 1095 and 1195 and it will depend on like I say the color or which model you want whether you want the step through or the step over and I would say because the bike is meant for riders five foot this step over uh, version is meant for riders five five to six four uh, if you're under five foot five I recommend getting the step through because then that, that handles riders right down to five feet. And uh, so you might have a little trouble getting on this bike if you're a shorter rider. I'm five foot nine, so I'm not a giant either. But uh, it works fine for me. I have the seat pretty much down just about as far as it'll go. So I like it like that because I'm one of the riders, unlike a lot of people, I know they like to have their legs completely extended. I do, but I also like to have control when I'm coming to a stop. I don't like to do the leaning and have to have one foot. I pretty much like to have both feet down uh, on the ground. Maybe they're not going to be completely flat, but I got to at least have them down there where I can have better control if I need to uh, um, when I come to a stop. The bike weighs. 65 pounds it's very lightweight i'm used to the heavier bikes than this so when you 
get on this bike and ride around. It feels so uh, easy to uh, navigate around things and stuff. And uh, also it's uh, very nimble, nice and easy to turn. Um, it's impressive. Uh, and the other thing it allows you to do is probably get a little more speed, uh, being lighter weight and the narrower tires. They're not fat tires, but they're almost. They're 26 by three. So they're close to being a fat tire, but not quite, but they're, it's great. I mean, uh, yeah, the three inch tires are not bad at all. You can see a lot of leaves dropping here already. Wow. It's that time of year, I guess. So uh, let me tell you a couple more things about the bike. It's a class three. I didn't mention that earlier. It is a class three bike. And if you're not familiar with what that is, so a class one bike is no throttle on the bike and speeds of up to 20 miles per hour with pedaling. Class two is the same thing as, as far as speeds goes, 20 miles per hour, but they do put a throttle on the bike. So that gives you a uh, option to uh, pedal or throttle. And then class three is 28 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour with throttle right there, or 28 with pedal assist. Kind of a weird one to me because, you know, if you're gonna allow that speed, then what's the difference whether it's pedaling or, uh, um, or just throttle? And I, talking about throttle here, I should have mentioned the throttle on this is a thumb throttle here on the left. And earlier I was mentioning the gears being zoomed. The zoom is the brakes. So I want to get that straight. Uh, it does have front suspension, but not a rear. So this bike is more for on-road as opposed to an off-road uh, bike. Uh, this bike would make a great commuter if anybody was wanting a commuter bike and uh, I've had the bike up to a top speed of 33, but that was pedaling like a madman um, So but 28 is definitely doable And I like going in gear 3 here or um, pedal assist 3 and gear 8 the highest gear that you can get up to uh, because you can pedal nice and comfortable, no ghost pedaling, and you can get speeds in the mid uh, teens. Look at this. Uh, I've had this situation so many times, I don't like it. Because you have to stop and let the cars go around, then you go around. What if we put the trash cans right out in the middle of the road and have the cars wait and then go around? Now we'll just make the bikers do it. Anyway, let's get back to our topic on the Cafe Cruiser. I mentioned earlier about the price between $10.95 and $11.95 and free shipping in the U.S. I don't think it's to Hawaii or Alaska though. Uh, I will leave a link in the description if you want to go check it out. I have an affiliate link so if you want to uh, use my affiliate link I will leave it in the descriptions and you can check it out. And Also if you purchase a bike it does help the channel out so uh, that's appreciated for sure. I'm seeing lots of not good looking stuff in the uh, bike lane. I just hope I don't get a flat tire. It, I don't know what else I can tell you about this bike other than I'm very impressed with it. Like I said earlier, I, it succeeded what I expected. I mean, I did not expect it to be this nice of a bike.
very easy to to ride comfortable relaxed you get a nice relaxed position with these uh, handlebars the way they are in the uh, the swept back handlebar style it does give you a nice comfortable ride This bike does have a payload capacity of 200 or 350 pounds. So my 175 is not nowhere near that. So if you're a bigger rider, chances are you can ride this bike. I'm gonna get across here really quick. Would I recommend this bike? Yes highly recommend it especially I get a lot of people asking me the price of a bike you know and, and how much they are and you know they are pricey electric bikes but this one for what you get best deal um, this is if you're looking for a cruiser style bike you want the 26 inch wheels uh, I don't think I can uh, recommend a better bike than this for the money So when, in, when anybody asks me about, um, you know, they, I've had several people ask me, uh, what do I recommend? And I always say, well, first of all, what kind of budget? You know, and nobody wants to spend a great amount of money, which is understandable. And then I say, well, you know, in most cases, you got to spend at least a thousand to get anything. And this bike is a step above that. This is not the low end $1,000 bike. This is the next step up, I would say, at least. Because a lot of times you're not even going to get a 750 watt motor. You might get a 500 watt motor, if you, especially if you go below a thousand dollars. That's where you start getting into the 36 volt 500 watt motor. You know, this one be uh, being a 48 volt and 750 watt sustained motor, much better, and a 15 amp hour battery. You know, not bad. And um, hey, if you can beat this uh, deal, and you know of a bike that's a better price than this that's at least as good as this, let me know in the comments because I'd be uh, happy to hear from you and, uh, and check it out. So that's going to do it for this video. And uh, I just wanted to uh, bring up about this Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser because it's a bike out there that I think still to this day is a steal as long as they keep that price there. And I don't know if they're going to do it, uh, you know, forever, which I don't think they are. And... Um, I would recommend it. I would highly recommend this bike. So that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll get a notification that a new video is up uh, pretty much every day at 9 a.m. local time here in the West. Uh, that would be noon Eastern time. We put up a new video and most days I put up a short as well, but not every day. There are days that I don't, but for the most part, yeah, I also put up a short video, a little clip uh, you can check out as well. So once again, uh, thank you for joining me in this video. And like I say, if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And until next time, keep your wheels in the road. See you later.